now for our reflection pass. Let's copy this render over. You know that we don't need lighting. So let's see what we've got here. Okay. I think what I want here is to the shape to reflect only on the outer part. So let's delete this shape and make another copy, not an instance, a uh, real copy. Let's click the texture again, click the duplicate, and on the shape uh, visibility, let's check cool back face. Great. Perfect. Now back to our render. What I'm going to do here, uh, I want this reflect to really glow. So first I'm going to make it a little blue. Give it some gain. And one by one. And remove a little bit of the gamma, maybe too much. Okay. Now back to the glow. Uh, what I want here, what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to add three three different different soft glows. Let's copy this, this over. And it's going to be one glow for each color channel with different setups. So the first one is going to be the red, let's give it some threshold, a lot of gain, oops, not that much, and quite big glow, okay, this is nice, and for the second, we're going to make our green channel, a little more threshold, a little less gain, and a little less size. Now for the last one, it's going to be for the blue channel, more threshold, less gain, and even less size. Okay. Perfect. You can see we have this nice gradient look to our glue. I really like this effect. So to our highlights, let's copy this render and enable lighting, OK. Now what I'm going to do here, we're going to add a highlight too. Let's plug our render and let's mess up with the settings here a little bit. So point one and let's make it a little bigger and only two points. Okay. Now we're gonna give it a little more glow. Let's add the glow tool. Okay, glow. And let's start merging team, things together. So let's merge this. Our reflection over our main pass. Now let's set it to screen. Okay. Now let's merge our highlight pass over the other one. Also on screen mode. Okay, this is looking great. Now another thing that I that I like to do here with our specular pass, I'm gonna add another highlight and let's set this over to 0.05. Uh, no. 0.75 to our curve, 0.95 to our length, and two points also. 
uh, let's copy the, the other glow, paste it here, and let's give it a little blur. Now, back to our highlight, uncheck the merge over. We, we only want, want the highlight for this one. Now we're going to merge this over our composition, on top of it. And what are we going to do here? Let's set it to screen mode. We're going to make his size a lot bigger than it is. Uh, I think 5, maybe. OK. And let's bring the blend way down. So what I what I was here is this nice color that is going to look like a uh, reflection from the highlight on the camera lens. So now that we've merged our passes, we're going to start with our shadow pass. And for that, we're going to need to do a little trick here, because the shadow maps won't work in this case. So we grab a camera merge our scene to it, and on our camera, let's look through this, okay, now on our camera, on the transform tab, we're going to move it up above the shapes, around 10 on Y offset, and we're going to rotate it so it looks downward, minus 90, that's great, now on the control tab, film back, we're going to set it to user and make it square, one and one. Okay, let's check if there is nothing going out. So the angle of view, we're going to come back and set it later, so it doesn't matter. Now on the near clip, we're going to set it to seven. This way, uh, the camera is going to clip the, the shapes by half. So we we only be seeing the the bottom half of the shape, and we're gonna use this to simulate our shadows. So we're gonna grab a render, and let's make it a square image, like our film back. Grab our camera. Okay. Uh, now. We're gonna let's make some room here, and we're gonna grab a bitmap mask. Let's click it here. Now on the bitmap, give it a, a nice soft edge, and now we're gonna grab a ellipse mask. We're gonna plug it to our bitmap. Let's set up this resolution here. Okay. Invert it. We're gonna give it a nice soft edge. This is gonna be like the, the foul off on the light uh, in the floor. Okay, this should do for now. Now let's grab a background. Make it square, and let's give it the same green color that that we that we give to the to the light, and add a color corrector, and let's tint it let's tint it blue, and blur guard master our color correction. Now we're gonna grab a channel boolean. And we're going to subtract our background from our bitmap mask. So we're here and subtract. This way we can get this nice blue halo around our shadows. Okay, let's take a look here. I think our shadow is a little small. So let's mess up this with the camera here. Uh, I think the angle view of 70, no, uh, let's set up this here, 
35. I think this is nice. Oh no, maybe it's too big. Let's bring it down a little bit. Okay, 50. Perfect. Now let's set up our ellipse mask. Since this is going to be a texture, well, uh, you got to watch out for not going through the boundaries. Okay, now that we have our texture for the shadow, we're going to grab our shape 3D. This is going to be our floor. So let's plug our texture. And let's m merge this shape to, to our scene, just so we can adjust the size of the floor. Uh, let's grab... Uh, Let's grab from the transform. Okay. Now on the shape, let's go to our transform tool and rotate it. Since this is our floor, minus 90. Okay. And for the scale, uh, maybe a little bigger. Now I think 15 is way too big. So let's that's six in the middle, twelve point five. Okay. Okay, this should this should work. Let's unmerge this. So now that we have our shape, we're gonna grab a uh, merge 3D, and we're gonna grab our camera, all the way up there, and we're gonna merge here. Okay, let's, let's organize this a little bit, so it don't get too messy. And let's make some room here, because we're going to need some space. Okay. Now we're going to grab our renderer, 3D, plug it here, set our camera, we don't need lighting for this. And that's our shadow. Okay, it's looking nice. 